I'm honored once again to have you all as my guests. You are most welcome to join me in this exclusive presentation of Malice and Terror. This time, our tale is a rather simple one. It speaks to the pitfalls of ignorance, especially when it comes to the unfortunate effects of the full moon. Our story is aptly entitled, Whose Name But The Wolf's? And it comes to you, silver bullets and all, courtesy of the Nightfall Radio Show. There are, I insist, such things as werewolves. Trust me, I'm an expert in matters like this. I've done a lot, and I mean a lot of damn reading on the subject. You see, the thing is, we've all been kind of conditioned. Well, to tell you the truth, fucking program is more like it. To accept some things as real and some things as fantasy. And I'm telling you right here and now that that kind of reasoning has deceived humanity to the extent that none of us, and make no mistake, I mean none of us can ever trust our individual nor our collective definitions of reality. Anyway, remember last year around this time when Glenn Hullins was killed out by Lake Hargrove? Had his goddamn throat torn out, stomach and chest ripped open. Messy business all the way around. Messy. Story even made in some of them big city newspapers, Miami, Atlanta, New Orleans. After the cleanup, cops came up with no leads, no suspects, no nothing. Dumbass deputy dog police. They didn't even take notice of the moon phases. Hey, I almost forgot. What about Renee Hughes, Betty Lang, and Christina Perez? Back in June, they, or what was left of them, was found at their campsite up in the mountains. It was a damn shame. Two of the girls were missing their heads, which, by the way, were never found. The Perez girl was, um, let's just say that uh, for the county medical examiner, her body was a lot more difficult to deal with than the other two. Okay, let's review. Four deaths, two full moons. I tell you, some people just don't get it. Eventually, the state and federal boys got involved. Now, if you've ever wanted to see a bunch of rednecks tripping over each other and screwing up an investigation, this would have been the show for you. It was an all-timer. They brought out the horses and dogs, the choppers and the sworn-in-on-the-spot local hick deputies that are always part of situations like that. Anyhow, it didn't matter about all that when you stop and consider that none of those damn Einsteins knew what they were looking for. It never even entered their minds that all the deaths might be the work of a lycanthrope. Anyway, I, of course, do exactly what was going on. Like I said before, I study this kind of stuff. I clipped all the stories in the papers and, get this, I even taped the reports off the TV and radio. The killings continued. In August, Willie Stelliford, 44-year-old guy of Farm Creek, Alabama, was found disemboweled in the middle of his own cotton field. Then in September, Nelson Weaver, 28, of Fremont, Georgia, was wheeling his way down Route 39 on his Harley. It was late and he was trying to make up some time that he lost when his bike had shut off on him in Regent Circle. All the damn thing needed was a new spark plug. A $2 spark plug. That's how much his life ended up costing. As he came onto the Wilmington Bridge, he saw the thing dart out in the middle of the road. He tried to stop or at least slow down and turn around, but only succeeded in skidding out of control. From that point on, the matter was purely academic. The animal thing bit savagely into his arm and Nelson felt his world sink into a fiery sea of searing pain and blood. Luckily, he bled to death. You know, of course, that Nelson lived, he would eventually have become just like his attacker. See? I know all about this stuff. Anyway, the police are still looking, looking, looking. They'll probably never come up with anything and will have to close the investigation until the next death. And there will be a next one. They could come and ask me for help, but they probably won't because police already know everything there is to know about everything, right? Well, it's getting kind of late and I've got to get out of here. Got to have some time to myself. Can't sit here chatting with you all night. Got a little bit of a headache. I get them from time to time, you know. Need to get some fresh night air. Besides, I'm hungry. And tonight, there's a full moon. <laughs>